When I saw this Doug Demodome helmet in the game, my first thought was, what type of samurai would wear this? Do you remember how many times Samurai Jack's hat got destroyed every time he went into combat? And his hat was nowhere near as big as this. Imagine if a Spartan tried to fight Atriox while wearing this helmet. Atriox would grab you by the top of that thing and swing you around like Hook did Loki. And if you're going against someone who has a melee weapon at close range, how are you going to get your Ultra Instinct on and bob and weave like you're supposed to while you're wearing it? For example, if someone swings an energy sword at me, but I dodge it and they hit the top of my helmet and chop it off. Now my armor is compromised. On a similar note, what if they have a gravity hammer and they swing it at me and I dodge it, and it hits the top of my helmet anyway? Then you'll hear a Tom and Jerry sound effect, and Jeff Steiser will probably say something like, Chrome Dome, as I get sent flying 50 yards. With that being said, from a design standpoint, I actually do like the helmet, and here's why. After I saw the helmet, I was trying to remember where have I seen a long helmet like that before. And then it hit me. Limbo. Limbo was the original Space Ninja Slash Samurai with the torpedo head, the trendsetter. Then Limbo passed head for all down to his successor, Revenant, who surpassed him by having an even longer head. Then Revenant took it to a whole nother level by mastering head chakra and entering long head mode for the first time. 